Well, it's part two of our downtown Phoenix tour. I'm excited to have you with us as we head down into the heart of downtown, check out some of the latest with the construction around the convention center, and then end our day at Chase Field, home of the Arizona Diamondbacks. By the way, if you haven't had an opportunity yet to subscribe to Dewey's World, please do. Click the like button and the bell, and that'll keep you up to date on the latest tours and drives from around the Phoenix area, as well as the Southwest. Speaking of that, check out the other video, part one of this drive to get up to speed. But we're gonna head to the heart of Arizona State, down to the center of Phoenix downtown, checking out some of the latest areas of growth and construction. Lots of people out today, which is nice to see. Um, it's not on par with what it used to be, but it's great to see it back where we actually see people out. It's great to see that recovery. I love this building on the left here. This is the Bayus Center of Law and Society, and it houses, uh, houses the Sandra Day O'Connor School of Law for Arizona State University. Isn't that a great looking building? Up ahead on the right is the Hampton Inn and Suites. That would be your classic three-star hotel. Just past it on the right-hand side, we have the West End Phoenix Downtown, which is uh, four and a half stars, I believe. So both of these hotels are, they look pretty good on the outside, at least. I haven't been inside. It'd be nice to stay downtown, right? To just be able to come down here, stay in a hotel, walk around this space and just get a sense of it. I haven't done it yet. Maybe it's something I will do. Now's a good time to say if you haven't had a chance to subscribe to the channel, please do click the like button and the bell. And in the comments below, if you have a destination that you want to head out to with me, I'll grab the camera. Just put it in the comments below and let me know and uh, we'll head out there. And thanks to the recent subscribers and the folks who actually recommended that I come downtown and check out the latest. Turn left on Monroe here and we're going to head west downtown's always growing there's it's always changing and evolving so it's fun to get back down here especially it's been a few months since the last time I was over in this area up on the right you have the convention center which is actually going through like a 600 million dollar renovation right now as well as the light rail around it and the streets so this area is under a lot of construction on the left there you have the Herberger Theater Center which is a three-stage theater and those statues out front are always fun when you drive by you get them confused they look like people it's a it's a fun center it hasn't been open or doing too much recently but I'm sure it'll be back before we know it in the distance on the left as well you see the St. Mary's Roman Catholic Basilica so this is like one of those grand adobe Catholic churches it was finished in 1915 um, it is Impressive. And then they have the gift shop on the left there as well, sort of tied to it. That's another tour spot I wouldn't mind stopping in and checking out before too much longer. Off of the distance there on the left is Arizona State University Mercado. That's the downtown campus. And it is designed to fit into the space right next to the church that we just talked about. Kind of really blending into the vibe and the eclectic culture of the downtown space. It's got that old adobe look. It's kind of fun. And on the right you see the Heritage and Science Park Historic Heritage Square. That house and behind it it's actually a group of homes and there's some restaurants in there that are historic in nature and it's really cool to check out. They do a market sometimes. It's, it's, it's very nice. That classic building in front of us is the, the Phoenix Children's Museum. And that is definitely worth checking out if you have young ones or if you're in the area and that's your thing. Next stop, Chase Field. Um, we're coming up right now on the corner of Washington and 7th Street. And that parking garage there is kind of aligned with the convention center on our right hand side. What a gorgeous day to be out here. The weather right now, I think it's 66 degrees in the middle of February. It's just glorious. 
If we were to turn right up here, we would head down towards the Science Center, but there is a lot of construction going on in this area. As I mentioned, the Convention Center and the light rail are being renovated. We'll go over the light rail tracks here in a second, and uh, that comes in from the East Valley, and it's just so much construction going on, but it's a good thing. A lot of growth, and when everybody gets back out and gets to enjoying it, uh, the downtown's going to be ready. Coming into view on the right hand side is Chase Field. That is home to the Arizona Diamondbacks and as you can see it looks like there's windows open right behind the sign for Chase Field there and there actually is. That stadium has a retractable roof and they also have uh, sides that can ventilate as you can see so you can open that up and let the air flow through one time we saw a game there and it got really warm in the upper deck but they just pop the roof on right after the sun sets they open up those side vents and all the heat radiates out into the desert and actually got a little chilly after that it was nice have a destination you want to visit with Dewey's World? Subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below telling me where you want to go. I'll grab the camera and we'll head out that way. By the way, all of the feedback you guys leave me I take seriously. So I'm going to continue to evolve the channel as we drive around the southwest and check things out. And uh, so don't be surprised if we see some changes coming soon. But thank you guys for all of your comments and your likes below. It means a lot. There's that chase field, those open vents on the right hand side. You can see it's a really good looking ballpark right here in the heart of downtown. Let's head up over the 7th Street Bridge here, over the train tracks, and then we'll probably look to turn right, circle back towards Chase Field and check it out. But as I mentioned, what a glorious day looking out towards the South Mountain. park itself and then I think maybe we'll jump out of the car and walk around a little bit there it is coming in from the south side this is how I always come to park so it's interesting to see it with nothing going on it's super quiet down here yep still quiet but you can see it's getting ready spring training is just around the corner I'm so excited uh, hopefully we'll get the teams back get the tourists back and have some fun but that's going to do it for part two of our celebrating 200 subscribers downtown Phoenix tour. Thank you guys so much for coming along. Thanks for your comments, your likes. Appreciate you subscribing to the channel and we'll see you next time.